Halftime here in Kings Point as the Mariners lead 10-7 over the Bears. Dave Leno with you, and it's my honor to be joined by the United States Merchant Marine Academy Superintendent, Rear Admiral Jack Bueno. Admiral, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. We're really privileged to be here today. Dave, it's great to have ESPN back at the Secretary's Cup. Admiral, what makes the U.S. MMA different from other federal service academies? Well, let me start, Dave, by telling you what's similar. All five federal service academies have America's best and brightest that are committed to serve our nation upon graduation. All of them require their graduates to earn a Bachelor of Science degree and also a commission to serve our nation. What's different about Kings Point is in addition to that, our graduates need to earn a United States Coast Guard Merchant Mariners license. That's a week-long exam, Dave, but it requires them to obtain 300 days and more of sea time out at sea as students in, on commercial and military vessels. That sea year is extremely different than any of the service academies, and we believe it's a key program that allows our leaders to graduate with real life experience that they bring into the industry. What's it been like in a crazy 2020 with the leaders that you speak of? I know a lot of the midshipmen voted to stay on campus since July, and here for football, they're just playing one game this year. Dave, I have to tell you, I couldn't be more proud of our midshipmen. Since June 1st, when we returned to our class of 2020 to graduate, we have been locked down. No liberty. Our midshipmen, our midshipmen have been locked down at the academy in a bubble. And that served us well. They elected in July to stay in the bubble. No liberty. And I'm, my hat's off to them. They earned this game, and they have been COVID-free at the academy since July. It's really exciting to see... Both our colleagues at the Coast Guard Academy and Kings Point have this wonderful day to compete. Competition is an essential leadership development program. Today, looking out at this field, I encourage all of your viewers to realize every one of the men on the grid gridiron and all the men and women in the stands on both sides, they are all America's best and brightest, and they are committed to serve your national security. Thank you, Dave. And thank you for your service as well. I know one of the, the four pillars of the academy is athletics, and we were told 90% of the midshipmen play a sport here. How does athletics shape the leadership of the midshipmen when they are going to serve our great nation? Well, Dave, uh, Dave I have found as a soccer player at Kings Point many years ago that I learned more about leadership on the soccer field, on the athletic field, in athletic competition than I did in the classroom. It's an essential part of the growth and development of midshipmen here, and we seek to have all midshipmen participate, even in intramural sports. The chance to understand teamwork and leadership, it is a development program here right on the gridiron today, out on the courts and fields of play at Kings Point. Admiral, I know that you want to dispel the notion that the U.S. MMA is the best kept secret among all the federal service academies. How are you actually accomplishing that and getting the word out about Kings Point? Well, be doing this any chance I have, Dave. I love this academy. It's a national treasure. Any opportunity I have to talk about the incredible men and women here that come through this academy who are dedicated to serve our economic national security, I want to take every opportunity to do that. All five of our service academies are rich in tradition and produce America's finest leaders. Kings Point is a part of that, and we're proud to be one of America's five service academies. Admiral Bueno, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for your service to our great nation as well. We have a terrific football game. We really appreciate you giving us a few minutes here at halftime. Thank you, Dave. Go Mariners! And your Mariners are leading 10-7 over the Bears. Our halftime report from Kings Point coming up next.